the Idaho Potato Bowl, Eastern Michigan, and San Jose State. San Jose State favored by four. Uh, the total sits at 54 right now. Of course, latest numbers at BetUS. Uh, it's Tuesday, December 20th, 2.30 p.m. Central Time. And let's go on and pull up these stats on the screen. Of course, these numbers are since week eight, or from week eight through the end of the year. San Jose State has not covered a spread uh, in their last seven ball games. So certainly that is troubling. With them being favored by four here, uh, I've got them favored by one. Like, that's not great. Definitely not good. Let's let's break this down very quickly. PPA margin since week eight. Eastern Michigan, number 49. Uh, San Jose State, number 63. San Jose State, the thing that everybody points to with this team is how good that defensive line is. And they've certainly got some studs on there. But they are number 96 in PPA per drive on defense over the past uh, six weeks of the year. Like, that's not great. Um, you look at what they what they do on defense, they're number 93 in PPA per rush, number 58 in rushing success rate. And there's some issues here, obviously. Um, the defense is, is still pretty good, but, you know, number 66 in PPA per pass, they're number 62 in passing success rate. Now, Eastern Michigan is not great at running the ball by any stretch of the imagination, but they do run the ball 55% of the time, number 76 PPA per rush, and number 66 in rushing success rate. So they're going to be able to to get some stops or get some uh, points here, I would believe, on this defense. On top of that, you start looking at what San Jose State does on offense, number 50 PPA per pass, uh, but they throw the ball 60% of the time. Well, Eastern Michigan, number 48 in passing success rate allowed. Uh, they're number five in havoc rate. And San Jose State's offensive line is number 104 in havoc rate allowed. So that is certainly going to be uh, a bit of an issue. Um, you start looking at like turnover margin, et cetera. Like, yeah, maybe, maybe there's a play in this game that could flip that would give uh, San Jose State an advantage because San Jose State is number six in turnover margin and Eastern Michigan is number 67. But... I, I, Chris Creighton and his bunch always comes out prepared for these bowl games. I'm going to take Eastern Michigan plus the four here uh, in San Jose State to like continue on this this slide. I like Brent Brennan. I like what he does there, but it's a uh, it's a little bit of an issue for me the way that they ended the year. So give me Eastern Michigan plus the four on this one. I think I gave this one out on Three Dog Thursday over on Bet US TV as well. Psst. Hey, if you like this video. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.